And now for some final thoughts on the search for water. Water, of course, is not just a refreshing beverage. It's got some other useful properties too. You remember that its chemical symbol is H2O. That's one oxygen bound with two hydrogen atoms. The water molecule is remarkably stable, but with a large investment of energy, you can separate the atoms from each other. Now, suppose you were an astronaut exploring the surface of another planet that you knew in advance had lots of water. That'd be good, because apart from drinking the stuff, once you split the molecule, you now have oxygen to breathe. Not only that, if you bring the oxygen back together with the hydrogen, making water once again, then large amounts of energy will spew forth, equal to the energy it took to break the molecule apart in the first place. It's this reaction that powers the main engines of the space shuttle. So pick a cosmic object to visit that has water, and you only need to bring enough water, oxygen, and rocket fuel for the trip there. That's a huge savings in the weight of your spacecraft and in the cost of the mission. NASA calls this in situ resource utilization, but I'd rather call it the filling station model of space exploration, allowing cosmic places to no longer be destinations, but stepping stones to the stars. And that is the cosmic perspective.